guys, Phoenix Canadensis, and today's video is going to be a thrift store doll hunt slash haul. So here's the hunt footage. All right, guys, the triumphant return. How many weeks has it been? Like three? It's been a while because we've just been so busy. Um, and this is a little bit out of the way and the hours aren't always great, but here we are. Nostalgia. This is a glorious store and I'm so excited to go inside. So let's go. Was there one before? I don't remember. <laughs> Littlest Pet Shops. I love you, Littlest Pet Shops. I don't know if I have this one. Cute. Okay. And this, I actually don't have this one. These are light-up displays. I loved these when I was younger. Still do. I don't know why I feel the need to specify. Um, the plush wall. Amazing. There's like a doll up there. In bugs. I don't know. My eyes look for dolls. Okay, well, I immediately am going to My Little Ponies. donkey dream blue i have dream blue already but so cute most of the g ones are gone obviously but i already grabbed all the ones that i needed well, actually never mind they just got moved they're at the bottom now i've got some g4s and g5s g2 mcdonald's cheerly daisy joe Another G2 McDonald's. This is a sunbeam or um Sundance with her outfit. That's a cute ferret. <laughs> um I have Tempest, I got Tempest. Um one of the chatter I think her name is Chatterbox actually. Lemon Drop. Wish that I between now and the last time that I was here got to check my bounties because I didn't, so I can't confidently say like, oh yeah, I totally have this one, even though I'm pretty sure that these are all ones that I have, but love them. There's actually three of this one. Um, it's my G1 collection just hasn't been able to be displayed in so long. Oh yeah, there's the ponies. Oh, that's the schoolhouse from G4 for the blind bags. I don't, well, I don't have any of the G4 blind bag playsets. The dolls. Kind of want to get her because I'm pretty sure I have her outfit. We got Queen of Mean, Audrey. The dolls. Oh, my scene. I have two of her already, but it's tempting. Um, it's Club Birthday Madison. And then the very bottom. The ornaments are cute. And then up top there used to be play sets, but they're not here anymore. Now there's other things. Now this is different than last time too, look. Got a shelf of Barbies on stands this time. I have this one's dress, but not her. That one is so pretty. This is a cool dress. Oh my goodness. Most of these are from eras that I generally don't super collect. Okay. With that Steffi face mold, you are coming home. <laughs> oh, and that's where that moved. This Barbie is amazing. That one is gorgeous. What's up? Oh, he's missing his shoes. <laughs> you didn't even say anything? <laughs> Look. I can't even see them all back there. Okay, gotta look closely at the brats. What's it? Oh, hello. Back here. Oh, that Equestria Girls dress is actually very pretty. Okay, brats knowledge time. This is Nighty Night Yasmin. Who's? What, uh, Rainbow Dash. Really? Did they really? I mean, it's like a. I think that's from the top of like a juice. And then I don't know this Yasmin or Chloe to be honest with you. Man, I wish the Monster High Dolls had shoes. And look, that's a Rainbow High Closet outfit. Oh, get your thing back down. Look how cute they are. Yes, <laughs> you're taller than me so you can actually see it. All right, I want Margo. Style's cool. Well, and I just want a double Amargo, and this one has a perfect face. <laughs> I think this is a triple Amargo for me, actually. 
All right, I'm done with the stool. <laughs> Lots of things here today. Get the shoppies. She has her shoes and is adorable. Um, and then I have adorables. Bin. And then Mountain Aw bin. No shoes, but they're cute. Oh, look at the yellow rolls. I just, I can't really identify LOLs, like I don't know if those are their outfits or not. <gasps> the pets! I really like, is this one a raccoon? Perhaps. Almost killed her. But I caught her, and that's what counts. Okay. And then we have a mermaid bin. And get some randos. That's... an extra fancy that, it's not extra fancy, God, I messed up the name now, extra doll. And then up here, look. Go down here so I don't accidentally knock them all over. We want some rainbow high clothes. These are mostly the ones from the closet that we saw last time I was here. Um, some of these are Barbara. Oh, that's DeBoss's hat. And Ferocious's. Well, they're actually over there. Could give them their clothes back. <laughs> some rainbow high shoes. See, this is dangerous for me. Oh, okay. I need those. Those are awesome. <laughs> then I need to... Um... See, this is going to be so fun as um, the store continues to get, like, more doll clothes and stuff. Um, I can use them for my restyles. It's exciting. Look at all this. A lot of doll shoes. Okay, if there's any like Peritopia esque shoes that over for me, I will need them. Okay. Pretty sure that's Brad's. Cute little crown, but I don't, I can't think of any doll that, that would match for me. Um, this is very Peritopia ish. Well, not Peritopia, but like um, the later Barbie fairies, but I do believe all of mine have shoes. Um. Forgot, babe. Mm. They're shopping baskets. Oh yeah, the front. <laughs> Don't want to go on. No, it's okay. These are cute. Gotta look through the barber shoes. Oh, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I think these are like descendants. These are really cute. Um. And then brats shoes. Brats. See if there's any that I recognize that I need. No, I do think I have. Well, these are my scene actually, but I don't like the ones with the toes. <laughs> All right, and then grab my pile. Well, I can go in here now. <laughs> okay, but up. We have these guys. Well, it's just so organized. It, I mean, it was pretty organized last time, but this is so much different. The queen, the lizard eyes. And that one. Wedding Ariel. I do already have that one. I feel like these just came out, right? It's like it's from a new Nickelodeon show. Um, no. Get back in the thing. That one has such a different hair. What a Hasbro one. All right, and then behind me, I saw dog clothes. Look. <laughs> Let's get it. So what would medium be? Okay, well, we'll start with Barbara, of course. That's formal funk Sasha's skirt, but it's covered in paint. <laughs> oh, and that's a... This is a Mycene one, I'm pretty sure, but... I don't remember. Drop something. 
this is a uh, hip to be square maybe um, I'm gonna keep saying I don't remember when I clearly do <laughs> I'm just not sure nothing there for me I can try. Brett says he doesn't think he could solve that. I don't think I can. I honestly would have that trouble. I hate Rubik's Cube. I want the Barbie tractor. <laughs> um, we also found this card capture Sakura lamp and this camera that I don't have. Which is pretty cool. I don't, You're getting there. I'm trying. <laughs> the thrift store. Look at the beautiful reflection off of the puddles. Look. Oh, what the hell? It's a banjo. What the heck? Yeah. <laughs> I found him. That's insane. Where's he from? I don't know. Tag? Probably one of those prize ones. Is he for real? I think so. He looks real. He looks and old. And unfortunately, a lot of the hunt footage is missing because I have a considerably larger haul than the amount of hunt fit footage would dictate. Hee <laughs> hee. Um, a lot of stuff happened. I don't want to get into it because it's just going to make me mad. But um i hope you enjoyed what we did have i feel like i did like the footage that i do have i already edited it actually wasn't like i feel like that was pretty cool you get to actually like walk through the store with me and i got to narrate while i was there because music wasn't really playing so that was quite nice anyway let's get started so this first bag is from hoover nostalgia which is that um store that the doll hunt footage is from really like that store it's basically just toys like it is a toy store and I love that. I feel like those are quite rare, but when you find a good one, it's so exciting. So I love this store. And here's the stuff that I found. All right, so the first item we have is this Care Bears Swarovski Anniversary Bear. I'm 20th, 25th anniversary? I don't 100% recall, but I really love Care Bears. I would like to have them back in my life someday. I used to have a ton of them as a kid. I really liked them. Um... I don't have any of them. Oh, I have a couple of my childhood ones, but I don't have my childhood collection and I had a ton of them. But I feel very strongly that I'm never gonna have enough space for them, at least in my current situation. So I limit myself. So if I find them for super cheap at a thrift store one at a time, sure. Um, and this is one of those instances. And this is a special one. This is a Swarovski one, which I think is quite cool. And I have the other one from the set whenever I can find them, so. Cool. Very cute bear. I like the caring bears. Colorful animal with symbols. Sign me up. You know that works on me. Anyway, <laughs> um, that was a cool find. I was very excited about him. And then we have this card captor Sakura lamp. Um, like, where did this even come from? I love this so much. Doesn't even have like a year on it. Does it? No, it just has the clamp copyright information. I don't know. This is just. Like you just knocked a bag over. This is just excellent. This is just wonderful. Uh, what a strange thing to find. I was really excited about it. I need to get new batteries in here and this will be really cool in the doll room. Or <laughs> the doll room, this room? No, the anime room. It'll look great in there. <laughs> Anyways, now, ooh, okay. So I've been holding off for a long time. And funny enough, this video was filmed on, I think July 25th. It was filmed a week before my birthday. And on my birthday, I actually received some strawberry shortcakes, but coincidentally, I bought a bunch of strawberry shortcakes a week prior, so it's kind of well-timed. So here we have some of my new strawberry shortcake friends. These are some 80s ones, and I'm super excited about them because I used to have some 80s strawberry shortcakes and I really liked them, but um, my dad ended up selling them. I think he just assumed I didn't like them very much, but I did. Um, so I'm really excited to have these Again, I didn't have these characters. I had lemon meringue and raspberry sorbet, so I don't actually know these characters' names. I had looked them up while I was at the store, but I don't recall their names, so I apologize. So I feel the need to defend myself a little bit because people are weird and gatekeepy. So the reason that I don't know these two lovely friends' names as opposed to these two is because I actually had these two, like I said, so I just remember their names. But the reason I don't do a lot of research on doll lines, like Strawberry Shortcake, where I don't have a like hardy collection of them i do now but i didn't a couple weeks ago um the reason for that is that if i don't have something if i spend hours and hours and hours devoting my time and energy into like researching them and getting 
them like situated in my brain where I can remember all their names um, just like at a glance and stuff that will torture me and it will force me to go on the internet and start looking at them more and that'll make me more inclined to buy them um, and I prefer the kind of treasure hunt um, once I have a decent collection and I'm like missing a couple of characters I love shopping for them online too but I hope that makes sense it's just like psychologically it makes more sense to avoid of doing the research on things that will probably make me want to buy them, essentially, is what I'm trying to get at. Um, so here's my new Strawberry Shortcake friends. I'm really excited about them. A few of them were wearing the wrong shoes on display, and the store owner let me swap the shoes around and put the right shoes on them, which I was very excited about. And this doll's hat was on the wrong character, too, so I got to switch them out and make them perfect again. And I'm so excited because these are so cute, and they're standing on their own right now, which is great. And again, um... On my birthday, Lost in the Fifth Corner actually sent me a bunch of strawberry shortcake stuff. And I remember, I don't know if I mentioned in the video, but I was like, huh, I just bought some strawberry shortcakes. And there's actually more in the bag that you'll be seeing. Um, okay, so we have some <laughs> Chef Boyardee. In high school, I just had a problem where this was the exclusive food that I ate. And I'm not exaggerating. There was a whole year where this was the only food that entered my body you know, unless you like go out to dinner or something. Anyway, um, but these are Shopkins of Chef Boyardee. So I needed to have them. It's nostalgic. It's, it's like iconic to me. Anyway, we have spaghetti and meatballs. Love it. And I like these ones that come in the like mini brands. They come in the <laughs> containers. So my dolls can suffer too. And then this one, so They come in like, I don't like the ravioli, actually. I avoid this one. But they come in like a bigger container, so it's realistic. Anyway, um, here's the ravioli. But even though it's not my favorite, it is still iconic and it's still Chef Boyardee. And my dolls will enjoy it. They will not be eating the Shopkins themselves, but, you know, as like a miniature. Anyway, <laughs> had to have them. I saw them and I was like, yeah, okay, I need that. All right, so anyway, now we have, this appears to be a thrift store haul. I think this was from the same day as this haul, but I don't know where this specific, oh no, this was the footage. So Brett filmed, I was exporting a video at the time, so I couldn't film, but Brett filmed the video, but then he accidentally, I accidentally deleted it off his phone. I meant to send it to myself. I thought I had already done it. So I deleted it off his phone. Yeah, but we lost it, but it's fine. So let's see the things that I found. So I paid, let's see, $22.66 for this haul. We have Scootaloo Build-A-Bear. I really like My Little Ponies. If I find a My Little Pony Build-A-Bear that I, build a bear that I don't have, the, there, are, there is a chance that I will buy them. There's a chance. Uh, if I found the minty one, I think my soul would leave my body, but it hasn't happened yet, but we'll see. Found her on Facebook Marketplace once and I didn't buy her. And I regret that. Okay, so this for $4 is White Hair to Maya from Rainbow High, which is very exciting because of all the dolls that I have a lot of doubles of from series one, this is not one of them. Um, I have maybe two of her in box actually, but I left them in box because they're cool variants. But anyway, she has a bit of staining likely from her hair dye situation because I, I see the same pink in her hair. So hopefully that'll wash out well. I'm excited to restore her and potentially do a reroute. I've been wanting to do some like really nice pastel colored reroutes on her. Like imagine this like purple and pink that's in her makeup in her hair. I think that would be so pretty. Um, and she does definitely need some work, but um, she's in nice condition, and I love that she's wearing what I think are Disney fairy boots. Fascinating. Um, super cute, and always a treat to find a Rainbow High doll at a thrift store, and with both hands, too. Score. Okay, and here we have some doll shoes. So, we've got Angles from LOL OMG. Just one. Um, oh, MC Squared. This is Project MC Squared shoe. These are just a bunch of singlets, but it was $2. This is a Nana Na shoe, I think. Bratz. It's one of my least favorite Bratz shoes for some reason. Like, I really don't like this one. Sorry to those of you who like it. Um, and then we have this little black heel, which I think is, um, is it Formal Funk Chloe's? Am I crazy? 
Um, and then this one. Just some singlets. Because, like, what if later down the line I get a lot and I find one of these? I actually have a ton of brat single shoes right now, so it's possible I actually have some of those already. And then this was $5, so this was the most expensive thing somehow, because Scootaloo was $3. Um, this is an LOL Easter tot. They're not called tots, are No, I think they are. I think they're called tots. Whatever. Um... As you may have seen recently on my channel, I have been buying these and enjoying them. And it's all thanks to you guys because you guys have made me like them. You made me see why they're so cute. And anyway, this was a really cute Easter one who seemed to have all of her stuff. And even if not, she has enough where I'm satisfied. I can't believe these are flocked. That is so cute. I'm thinking this one must have come like in the surprise ball or something because she has everything. And that would explain why the store priced her higher. I don't know. But a really nice find. I really like this one. And yeah, this one's this one is darling. I'm very happy to have found this one. It was a good find. I don't know her name. I assume she's from Easter of this year, but I have no idea. But I think she's quite cute. I think she's quite cute. <laughs> I don't plan on amassing like a super large collection of LOLs or anything, but if I find them at a thrift store and it seems like they have their stuff, I will get them. And then for the pets, all bets are off. They don't even need their stuff. Those are so cute. I really like them. Um, but anyway, I just, it was a good deal. So I grabbed her. Um, a cute one. I think they're like $10 retail also. So that was actually a great deal. All right. Next we have this bag, which, oh, I think this is actually more recent. Yeah. Posted about this one on Twitter. So you can get a rough date range. Let's see. Um, this was ah, the day after my birthday. I went out to go try to find some new releases on my birthday and we didn't find anything. Um, anyway, I got this Taylor Swift, I think this, yeah, this is self-titled, but it's like a deluxe version and comes with all the music videos and I didn't have this one. And I really like early Taylor Swift stuff specifically. Um, like Speak Now is my favorite one, which I do already have on CD. I have all the early ones, but anyway, uh, the jewel case is a disaster, which sucks because, um, this is one of those ones that has the extra piece, so it's not like I can replace it easily, but it's fine. Anyway, cool finds. All right, so the next thing, I wasn't initially gonna check out at the store. Like I was, this was tempting, but I, mm, I don't know. There was a long line, but then I found this doll. This is a Midnight Magic doll, who um, I posted her on Twitter and everyone said she looked like Draculaura. Um, which is fair because these are a response to Monster High, if not outright bootlegs. I need to do a little bit more research on these because I don't know a whole lot about them. But I think they're quite cute. I've been aware of them for a while just because, like, I just think they have really cute faces. Also, I didn't know they just had slightly more voluptuous Monster High bodies. It's quite interesting to see, like, a Monster High body a little bit thicker and curvier and then with, like, click joints. How strange is that? But I, I think the face is gorgeous on this doll. I think she's quite beautiful and yeah, just an interesting doll find. You guys know that I love different types of dolls, like obscure doll lines and stuff that came out, especially around the time that Midnight Magic came out. So on board with that. Um, that is a Honey Bee Acres cat that fell out of one of the houses I bought. <laughs> okay, and then we have this doll. I'm pretty sure this is a Barbie movie character, but I'm not 100% sure right now. And I hate being wrong. Just Mattel copyright date, connect one hair. I'm thinking this is, um, is her head pushed down too far? So, I don't know. Her body is shorter. Yeah, I, I think I'm wrong. Who is this? Let me know. I'm going to feel really stupid when it was what I think it is and I didn't say it out loud because I didn't want to be wrong. Anyway. Ah. I bought this for my brother. This is Peg from Hercules, which is my brother's favorite movie. I also really like Hercules, but my brother specifically really likes Peg. And look, this is like special like baby version that has this cute little, I don't know, is this called like a swaddle? I don't know, baby stuff. But I like the little chibi philoctetes and like the pottery and stuff. This is just really cute. Um, so I hope my brother likes this. <laughs> um, okay. Let's pull this a little closer. So then we have, so these are the dolls 
the other dolls that I bought at Nostalgia, the same time as the strawberry shortcakes. That's for somebody, so ignore it. Don't worry about it. Um, this is, I believe, one of the birthstone beauties or something. I don't remember 100% what they're called. Probably sapphire, if I had to guess. Um, you have a little bracelet. Oh my gosh. So I believe she's only missing her shoes and whatever she came with for the the owner of the doll because sometimes they come with like an extra little necklace and I think these ones did but I'm not 100% sure had to get her first of all she has like all of her stuff which is cool second of all Steffi face mold love it um I just think she's quite cute she's like absolutely beautiful I was really excited to find her and I'm excited to fix her up just kind of have to fix her hair a little bit which will be tricky because I want to keep the factory curls so I do have ways of hopefully avoiding ruining the factory curls but we'll see um, but I just think she's really cute and she even has like little red painted toenails and fingernails Really 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 cute really good find with this one um, Although like I feel like those aren't super hard to find in box because those are the type of dolls that even people who aren't interested in dolls will buy um, So generally you can find them in box at like flea markets and antique malls and stuff Reasonably cheap and often but anyway Good find regardless. I was very excited about it. And then we have Allie from Descendants who I have in box but I did not have her out of box and now I do. So she's really, really cute. I need to fix up her hair, of course. And I know the doll community at large can't stand Descendants just in general. No matter how you feel about the franchise of movies, which I actually think are quite good, because <laughs> you know I have critical taste with um, all of the doll related properties I enjoy, but I think Descendants is actually pretty good. And the dolls from Descendants 1 and Wicked World are excellent. So Allie's from Wicked World. They're really, really good quality. The sculpt quality on the faces, it's top tier. They always came with really cool accessories. And like the material quality of the clothes was mostly really, really good. So like this specific doll actually, I would say is like really, really nice quality. I also love the way that the bodies feel. And I that's something I can't describe to you. It's something you have to feel if you held them in your hands. But the, the material they're made out of is different than say, a Barbie. I don't know how to describe it, but anyway, like, look how cute her face is, and, um, I think she was, like, ten dollars. The price tags on the shelves in the doll hunt footage, by the way, they were irrelevant. Like, don't worry about them. Like, that's not what ended up being paid at the end. I don't know. And then I also got this Margot, who I need to take down her braids, but I'm gonna be opportunistic about this. Um, I don't understand why she has these braids, but I'm gonna boil wash her while she has these braids in and then stick her in the freezer. I'll do a video about, or maybe I'll show it in a video, I don't know for sure. Um, but if you boil wash while the braids are in and then let it set with cold, it'll be like a really interesting curl. So we will use this to our advantage. So it's weird that like, cause this is a relatively new doll. The owner must have bought the doll, braided the hair, cause it's all in like perfect condition done all this work braiding the hair on this doll for some reason and then just called it a day and we're like i'm good um but yeah i i'm really excited because i actually really did want another margot but okay imagine amaya with this hair color but like pink instead of the blue that's i'm just saying just saying <laughs> okay now some stuff fell out so we'll just pull out what we have here okay so in here now what what day is this <laughs> this is from my the day after my birthday as well so I think this was like the one that doesn't normally yield things but it did this time so this is the Cali girl Barbie which is cool because I've gotten her before just with none of her stuff and this one has all of her stuff including her little anklet so of course i had to pick her up and i think this doll is really pretty and i love her hair i love her face she is a great addition to the collection a great find her body's made out of a different material than usual too actually um i just need to fix up her hair a little bit clean her up just because you never know where these dolls come from no matter how perfect they look um, and then get her on display so yay and then this doll I picked up just because she seemed like she had a lot of her stuff and I thought she was cute. I don't pick up every single doll that I think like just intrigues me a little bit or looks complete, but I don't know. I just, I was enchanted by this doll. So she is Mattel. See, I'm thinking she's a, 
Oh, her, her bottoms are inside out. So maybe, this might not be her stuff. I don't know. I just thought, um, I liked her tinsel hair. I liked what her hairstyle appears to have been before it got messed up. I like her outfit, even if it's not hers. I think it's quite cute, especially this, um, jacket. It's really, really cute. And I don't know. I just... Let me know if you recognize her, because I certainly don't. I think it's just from, like, the 90s Teen Skipper line, which I know very little about, but I just thought she was really pretty. But her face doesn't look like the Skippers that I'm used to, so I'm not really sure. But, yeah, picked them up. Some some vintage for today. Alrighty, and then uh, this bag, which um, is from America's Thrift Store, too. I don't know which... Uh, shopping trip specifically but I picked it up because I don't have any doubles of this fail fix character and I like to use fail fix dolls for rebodies so I thought that this would be a good one to add to the arsenal and she had both of her hands um, potentially was this worth five dollars I don't know but anyway I just needed a double of her so because there's there's lots of dolls that are in this scale and there will forever be lots of dolls in this scale that don't come with extra, um, that don't come with articulated bodies. And I personally really like the Philfix bodies, especially because with something like the uh, Hello Kitty and Friends dolls by Mattel, they have really similar skin tones. Not all of them have perfect matches, but most of them do. And um, you can rebody them onto Philfix bodies. And then they have body diversity, which is really interesting. They fit really well. The clothes still fit. The proportions are still the same. And I'm super picky with rebodies, so it's rare that I do a rebody and I don't hate it. Um, and I love the Hello Kitty and Friends rebodies. So, um, when I find a fail fix doll at a thrift store, I will probably pick her up unless I have a hundred of the character. Like, I'm probably good on Kawaii Cutie. Maybe not. But I have a lot of, I have a lot of her. Because I was really trying to get... there. There's two variants of the glitter version and the regular version. Because there was, like, an art theft controversy. So they, re they didn't recall, but they switched the art on her dress so there's two different versions of each so i was buying a lot of her <laughs> anyway here we have this one's from like the day after i uploaded the other thrift hunt i think and this is a moxie teens doll which is really exciting she was two dollars and she has um all of her body parts at least of course she doesn't have her wig or but i do actually have two moxie teens wigs but i'm pretty sure i cut them i bought them when i was like 12 or 13 to use on my creative monster dolls and because they're for these super tall dolls by the way did you know moxie girls had a teen line that was meant to respond to live but were quite large as you can see compared to a barbie um and they are some of the most beautiful dolls ever but they're really really hard to find because they did not do well um bid by mga by the way are her eyes like I think they might have, like, water damage or something. I don't know. But anyway, I have seen Moxie Teens at thrift stores before, but it was years and years ago when I was a lot pickier with my collection, so I never picked them up. So I jumped at this opportunity. I don't have anything for her. I don't have any clothes. The wigs might work. Maybe they will. Maybe they won't. I don't know. I'll I'll at least let her, like, try them on. Because um, I think I do actually know where they are right now. I just moved, so I don't know where everything is. But I'm pretty sure the wigs are in that bin over there, but I'll have to check. Um, I might have already, my doll accessories, I'm not really organizing them or doing anything with them right now, so when I find my bags of doll accessories, I'm putting them in bins and then putting them in the closet in there, so it might not be accessible, but anyway, my point is, I'm very excited, because Moxie Teens are really cool, really, really cool, and, like, you're, like, surprisingly hard to find. She's also, like, really disgusting, I didn't notice, like, the, is that lip gloss? Ew. Anyway. <laughs> Next we have this doll which is a flavors doll which is cool because you very rarely find these at thrift stores and she's super cute um i have one flavors doll who was actually sent to me by one of you guys and i really really enjoy her whoa i didn't know they had their hips carved differently like that i've never like redressed mine interesting um but this one's really really beautiful and i don't have any other outfits for flavors at all but I'm sure I'll find another outfit that works for them I really like their bodies it's so interesting like they gave them that like um really dramatic pose but they also have the it's weird to have articulated chest but not articulated wrists right but this is the 2000s like we don't know what's going on yet um connect one hair a cool find cool find I was very surprised to find a flavors doll because um I don't feel like I've ever seen one in a thrift store and if I have it was before I knew what they were so I didn't recognize him. 
Um, all right, y'all, so that's it for this video. I know this was kind of all over the place, but this was a lot of different thrift hunts over the course of several weeks um, that I just never ended up uploading. And I really like doing thrift hunt videos, and I also enjoy consuming thrift hunt related content, so um, getting this video out was a good call, I think. And hopefully if I go into town this weekend, I can do another one and we can get back to our like regular thrift hunting video schedule. I don't know. Um, also, there is one more thing. There's this big jar of strawberry shortcake minis that I bought, but I think it must be in Brett's car. Like, I don't think it made it into the doll room, into the pile of things that needed to end up in this video. So I'm going to go look for that. But if I don't find it, just know there's a strawberry shortcake jar somewhere in my life that I bought. And it's like completely full of the strawberry shortcake 80s minis that I really, really wanted when I was younger. So I was really excited to find it. And I got it for ridiculously cheap. I think she charged me $10 for the jar and the strawberry shortcakes inside. And I used to have a strawberry shortcake jar too. So it was like perfect. I, I don't know if I even have pictures of my strawberry shortcakes. Maybe I posted them on Instagram at some point. I'd have to go check. Um, anyway, that is it for this video. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. And let me know if you found anything interesting or if you have any particular attachment to any of these dolls. I got some from several different eras and some really, some relatively obscure ones. So it was quite a fun haul. Anyway, thanks so much for watching for all this time. Bye!